mighty, show me the book of Acts chapter 4 from verse 22. That's the way to answer to persecution. The way to answer to it is not for the persecution to be removed. It's for God to make you stronger. Give you more grace and anointing. I want to tell you, oh man, woman that wants to be used by God, get ready for persecution. If once God begins to use you, immediately, it can be from fire, it can be from near, it can be for something minute, something that is meaningless. You can even say, oh yeah, take, no problem. They will still insist because what they are looking for is not what you left. I'm telling you. You can say, eh, I don't want to do again. I'm no more doing. We will not say anything. They will still not be happy with you. Because what they want is for you to be nothing. That's actually. Those things that are saying is just, is just things to, is excuses. The real issue is that God has begun to use you. Do you want to be used by God? Get ready for persecution. Verse 22, I didn't say 29, my friend. Verse 22. For the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing, what? I don't understand. You went to, you healed somebody. Is it a bad thing? Everybody should be rejoicing, is it not true? And then the city should give you a certificate and bring you to a guard of honor. And people will be saying, ha, our man, our brother is now healing the sick. Woo. Show me verse 23. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders said unto them. Verse 24. And when they, have, and when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. Verse 24, 5. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the hidden rage and the people imagine vain things? Next verse. The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. Next verse. For of a truth, what I'm telling you, better listen to it. You can be in a denomination like this. Everybody, this Senior, more senior pastors in that denomination will like you. As soon as God puts his hand on you to begin to use you, they will do everything to crush you down. This is why many young men don't rise in many denominations. They go and start another ministry, start another work. It's not as if they wanted to start it. It's because some people didn't want them to express the grace that God has put upon their life. It is normal. It's persecution that comes as a result of the hand of God coming upon your life. It's a fact. And it, run, it runs through any denomination, no matter the name. No matter the name. Some of the time, even the general overseer might not be aware. But there are people there busy doing politics and crushing. The worst mistake you made is to come and lead prayer and something happened. So, the way to be moving well is not to become anything. It's just to be the baby. Deny your calling, become useless, become common vessel. Meanwhile, in the kingdom, real authority is defined by grace. See, real kingdom authority is not positional. It is grace defined. We put men in post. According to, are you with me? Yes, sir. According to the definition of the demands of being brought into eldership and authority, the testimonies of Paul that he gave his son Timothy. Are you with me? There are two basic demands and the one on one side is conduct. The other side is grace. There are two basic demands to enter into the office of eldership. It is not, a, it's not how many years. His office is, is grace and what? Conduct. One, grace. And the second one, what? Conduct. It is not an official position in the context of something that human beings can bring you into. It is something you enter into because of the grace that God has furnished into your heart. Because if it is true that it's God you are working for, then the proceeds that will come out of your life should be organic. That means your capacity to stand in that office 
is not something that you can do or a man can do. It's not something that you can write. It's not something... No, it is something that flows out of you. It is natural in you for you to administrate that office because there is an oil of grace that flows from you. Are you getting the point? In, if a man administrates in an office as a result of the grace of God that is upon his life, you will find out that the purpose of God can fully be furnished. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, but that is not the case. And many young men, if they stay, 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 it's not working. They become frustrated. They find another place. It's not as if they want to leave. They catch them. Persecute them. Persecute them. Do you know it has gotten so bad that you go to some church, they persecute young men from praying. If you pray, they will tell you, don't pray. Literally, don't pray. Don't speak in tongues. Pentecostal church. What made you Pentecostal? Is it not tongues? Yes, sir. It's tongues. It's not even power. What made them Pentecostal is tongues. That's what it means. Pentecostal means tongues. And you are telling people don't speak in tongues. You don't even know what you are. See, that's what I was telling you, the sisters, in the morning when we were doing Bible study. Many people believe... Many people believe things. They say that they are this. But based on their belief, they are actually another thing. Yes, it is when you sit down and analyze, you will find out that what they carry is an emblem of Pentecostal. Yet yeah, they are not actually one. Many people that say they are Pentecostal is actually orthodox. They are not. You don't speak in tongues. You don't manifest the gift. Of, you don't allow the Holy Spirit to flow. And you say you are Pentecostal. You are not. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Are you getting where I'm going? Yes, if you want God to use you, you must, be, you must be comfortable with deserts, wilderness, walking alone, staying alone, being hidden, not being seen, being persecuted. It should be normal. It should not be something that happened to you. You say, God, if you don't do this, I will stop. My altar is calling if anything happens to you along the way, your answer should be to go deeper into God. If you face any obstacle, the answer is not to say I'm not doing or to fight back as a, or to do it. No, it's to go deeper into God. Let me tell you one thing about going deeper into God. If you go deeper into God, you will touch something that no man can dispute. Huh? That's part of the things that God gave me when I started. At some point, when I, God started using me and then people were... You now saying, is he, is he you? God now called me one day. One day, I was in a very dry fast. I was going on. The word of the Lord came to me. And when it came, I knew it was a scripture. He said, I give you a mouth and a wisdom that men cannot gain say. I came out from there. My heart and my lips burned. When I speak, you will know it's God's oracle. That my utterance is bigger than my age. That there is a facility fomenting from a realm that is bigger than the natural i give you a mouth and a wisdom when you speak is no more your age no matter the person he will bow he will know that the authority of god is flowing through the vessel of a person that's how god answers to that you go deeper but whether it will come it's gonna come even when jesus died they are still persecuting him in his death they said they paid people money to go and say that he didn't die. <laughs> Don't do this. And you think you will be better and bigger? No, accept it. That's part of the fundamental demand of being used by God. Are you getting the point? Do you know that others can actually do what you are doing? But because you are being used in a higher dimension by God. If you do it, everybody will want. The reason why they are coming for you is so that they can they let them join hands together and bring you down. Then when all of us are done, then we'll be eating in the dust and say, <laughs> nobody say we hate you now because hey, you won't leave us come out. 